You managed to land a MyTax Globalink Research Internship. Felicitations, congratulations. I was a MyTax GRI intern last summer and it did change my life. My internship was at Dalhousie University in Halifax, Nova Scotia last summer and it was an amazing experience to say the least. I got to work under the supervision of a world-renowned researcher and an incredible human being. I got to meet amazing people, amazing nice people. Actually, people in Halifax are very nice. Don't get scared and don't hesitate to ask for help. For example, for direction, etc. People here are very, very nice and very helpful. So, my tax GRI is a life changing experience. First, I want to acknowledge that the House University sits on the traditional territory of Micmac. We are all treaty people. We acknowledge the histories, the contributions, and legacies of African Nova Scotian people and community communities who have been here for over 400 years. So the first thing you probably thinking of after accepting your internship proposal is simply where are you going to stay during this internship? You can find pretty good deals of campus using Kijiji or Facebook Marketplace, but be careful, beware of scams. But if your internship period is between May and August, meaning it ends before mid-August, I strongly advise you to stay at the student residence. Why stay at the residence? It's simply it's because it's cheaper, it's affordable, it's safer, it's on a walking distance from your lab or department. Amenities are included and a 24-hour front desk is available and most importantly is because you can rest your head when when you pay your room deposit before coming to Halifax unfortunately a lot of students got scammed and ripped off especially when it comes to deposit to money deposit when they send it from their home countries so I can, so as I said if your internship and and by let's say late August and the summer residence is closed by August 15. That that was for last summer. I have no idea about this summer, but it's basically the same. You need to find an accommodation for two weeks. Personally, I completed my internship by August 12 last summer, so I had no problem with temporary accommodation. So if your internship is in Halifax, you're most likely to be accommodated in Sheriff Hall. To apply for summer residence, you need to have a banner ID and a net ID. They're like your student identification numbers. Don't worry, they will send it to you in time before the deadline to apply for summer res residence. It's around April 1st and you need you need to pay a deposit to secure a room. The application is very simple. You just need to fill in some personal information and they will respond to you in two to three days. And they will give you a couple of days after that to pay your deposit. And then that's it. They will send you an email saying welcome to summer residence. So you will have, so what will you will have in your room? You will have a bed, a desk, a chair, your, a wardrobe or closet, some drawers. And if you're staying in new comp house, you will have a sink in your room. The washrooms, the bathroom and showers are shared. In each floor, you will find a kitchenette with a stove, a microwave, and a big fridge.
these are actually the pictures of my room the day I left. As you see, it's very convenient for one person. If you have any questions about the residence, summer residence, or the application process, etc., please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching.